So, um, number 13 says, Will we, as Dungeon Masters, be able to choose our players? How will players be chosen for the likes of this grand project? This is a good question. I know a lot of people have been asking this on the likes of TikTok and more. So, do you have the chance to be a player in Project Aura? Let's get into this. So, um, two things. Here's how this works. We have a system for um, Project Aura and who will be players in the games. Number one, the number one priority is we want to prioritize staff getting into the games first. We want to prioritize staff. As the reason why is pretty obvious if you can't figure it out, but hey, if you're dedicating lots and lots of man hours into writing settings, you're staying up late, making this lore, you're drawing all this sort of art, you're making music for this great campaign or whatever, we want to reward you and we want to have you actually be able to see your work come to fruition. We want to be able to allow you to play in the creation that you made, you know? So we want to prioritize having staff in first now, and we'll try to, you know, work between everybody's schedule, but hey, if someone can't play because, you know, they're on the other side of the world, I mean, we kind of expect this. This is just D&D &D or whatever in a nutshell, right? It, it, it happens, right? Afterwards, when it comes to staff, then we open it up to the populace. Now, hey, Sensei, I'm a populist. I'm not a staff member. How the heck would I go about playing? Well, let me explain you the details. Let me explain you the details, but first, let me take a sip. Here's how we go about um, picking out players. So ultimately, it'll be up to the dungeon masters to be able to pick who they wish to play with. Cause you know, uh, as a dungeon master, you probably will pick the people that you've known before, or you know, have played D and D with in the past. That's just what it is. It'll be ultimately up to Dungeon Masters, like Dungeon Masters, the Dungeon Master, on who they want in their games. So, for example, Apra, if you want any of your friends from uh, the other Discord server, then by all means, you can choose that. You have the right to do that as a Dungeon Master. Get them involved. Doesn't matter to me, or doesn't matter, uh, shouldn't matter to staff. Um, same thing with you, Slippery Ram. Uh, after assume, assuming that you've gotten all the staff members in that you can, um, if you have like two more spots open, you want to get a couple friends in that um that you have then boom drop them in doesn't matter um but the way uh, let's say for example i don't know maybe it's i'm sensei suplex and maybe i just don't have any friends or whatever right and i've got to get a bunch of random individuals and i got to pick who's going to be in my DD game well the way how it would work is you would fill out a player application on the likes of the discord server you fill out all of the necessary things to, and go from there afterwards you just wait for a dungeon master to be able to pick you to join into your DD games but how will i know that a dungeon master will pick me well you don't but i can tell you a super secret technique that will almost guarantee you almost guarantee you to be in a DD game do you want to hear what that secret is chat do you want to know do you really want to know all right all right fine come here close come here close let me tell you a thing i'm gonna lay out a scenario i'm gonna lay out a, a sequence for you imagine this imagine you're a dungeon master right pay the name off no I, ex I accept uh, payments in PayPal. No, but <laughs> imagine this. You're a dungeon master. You have two people to decide between. You have player A and player B. Player A, they did everything that Sensei said. They joined the Discord. They put out a player application. And after that, player A, they vanished. They did not talk in the server ever again they just sat there and waited they did not show up to any twitch stream ever again they just vanished poof Bam. gone player b player b they joined into the discord server they threw a player application in but the difference between they actually joined the discord they became a community member they hang, hung out in voice call text chat or voice call chats they joined the likes of Twitch streams. They supported the community. They were an actual person in the community. Who are you going to pick as a dungeon master? The person that just dropped a player application and vanished that you don't know anything about? 
or the person who's been a part of the community that you get to talk to around every single day and you actually know and they're maybe even your friend which one are you gonna pick surprise surprise it's probably gonna be person b nah it's gonna be person a of course what the fuck am i talking about no it's going to be person b so for those of you all listening who are not a part of project or staff if you really really want to be a part of it that's probably your best bet actually be a community member be join the discord calls join the general chats hang out with people you know actually be present and do stuff and surprise surprise you would be surprised well you would be surprised on how many people are going to be wanting to get you into the game it's as simple as that i know it's crazy i know this hidden technique is a ripoff but i'm telling you even you envy thank you for the follow but i'm telling you all you got to do it's just be a human being and join to the discord server and be a community member that's literally it i'm not, there is no smoke and mirrors besides that <laughs> oh man you know <laughs> oh goodness uh slippery ram says personally i'll be choosing the people who are obviously enjoying the community more yeah exactly it makes it makes sense sarcastic druid be present and make friends how dare you make me participate in my favorite activity <laughs> satire oh man